India has been changing a lot and they have been working a lot on the you know field of health and uh, development and sexual reproductive health but uh, when you talk about the sexual health they have been following the same old fashioned work because uh, they have the same taboos we have been hearing about lot many debates that whether the sexual education should be the part of the curriculum in schools or not but our social values our social norms and taboos have been a constant uh, hindrance in this process when we talk about india it, india has a high amount and percentage of youth and a youth is someone who is you know in the constantly age of change development experimentation curiosity and when we talk about their health and specifically about their reproductive health this youth is you know is not so much aware about it and when we talk about reproductive health people are not very comfortable talking about it even as a parent as a teacher uh, a report from mumbai shows which was published in times of india stated the fact that a research was done on 15000 students in different cities including the metros that eight you know the students from 13 to 19 years were surveyed and interviewed and they found out that the students reported that 8.9% of the population had the problem of stds at once in their life and the average age when they first got with a sexual encounter or sexual contact was 13 for the boys and 14 for the girls which is remarkably a very shocking state because that shows that how much youth is vulnerable to the sexual practices at the age when they have you know low control and lack of support from even though from their schools and parents they have the opportunity if we are talking about the general population and the data is so shocking then what we can say about the marginalized group like the msm transgenders idu truck drivers who are also a very you know a huge population a part of our population and especially um, the young msm and the transgenders who are continuously being ignored by our society uh, by our government officials and we don't pay much attention to their sexual and reproductive health because they are not considered someone very important in our society but as a human being they also have the right of sexual and reproductive health and their identity is more related with their sexual orientation and sexual behavior which primarily places them in an up more position for the sexual reproductive health and i think uh, it i think that it is um, you know being the msm and the transgender they are more vulnerable because uh, their first sexual encounter comes at the age of 13 where they first identifies from their sexual behavior their identity and if a young msm and transgender during the sexual experimentation gets affected gets affected by some stis and hiv doesn't have any parental support from the parents or the mother being being uh, being a teenage the person first goes to the mother about if talking about a reproductive uh, area or a part or a uh, sensitive organ and if a child doesn't have the support of a mother it becomes difficult for the child to cope up with such problems even if a msm or a transgender is able to somehow get to the doctor or a healthcare practitioner the stigma and discrimination is so strong that uh, you know it gets difficult for the individual to get the accessibility to the health services which in turn leads to the more uh, high rate of sti and hiv and other problems and other reproductive problems as per um, i think you know it is very important for the people to understand that msm and transgenders are the part of our society they need not to be ignored and discriminated because when we talk about health it is something which everybody has the right to and uh, when a young msm and transgender is having no parental support social support uh, the experimentation 
becomes more and the individual starts using their body as a commodity leading to more uh, grave consequences which which are more fatal to the health of the individual so um, our government and our society needs to understand that sexual reproductive health is just not about sex but taking the responsibility of the behavior which we are indulging in and understanding that if you are indulging in a behavior it it is just not a behavior it holds a lot of responsibility and accountability towards yourself your body and the person you are involved with and primarily about your health care and and the awareness that the body needs uh, to be looked after and i think that is why the government needs to understand and they need to start uh, working on the sexual education awareness in schools and with transgenders with the youth so that uh, they can prevent themselves because they are the one who will be leading the country and will be the responsible citizens of the society